fact, 50% down this, uh, 50% on third down this season. Need three yards for a fresh set of downs on the ninth play of the drive. Ball on the left hash. Jenkins under center. Slot right. No receivers lined up to the left side of the formation. Nothing, nothing, just underway. Opening quarter in San Luis Obispo. Jenkins gives it away. Joe Prothrow, first down and more. He's inside the 30. Prothrow to the 20, 10, touchdown, Cal Poly. A 35-yard touchdown run for the sixth-year senior. And the Mustangs strike first in San Luis Obispo. Where I come from, that's called a grown man run right there. Right up the gut. There's no secrets here. Give it to the big fullback. The six-year senior, leader in the running attack along with Jenkins. He breaks two tackles and then runs through a guy and then outruns everybody else. 49-yard line for a new set of downs. And you wonder what the play call will be in a third and a medium situation for a team that prefers to keep things on the ground. Jenkins comes out of the shotgun, slot left, single receiver right. Jenkins turns, tosses, left side, Hernandez, first down and more. Down the left sideline, inside the 40, cuts it back at the 30, inside the 25, and finally drops shy of the 20 at the 22. It's a 35-yard run for the sophomore walk-on. Drew Hernandez as the Mustangs are back in Aggie territory for a second consecutive possession. That negative run backs the Mustangs up to their own, uh, rather, the Davis 24-yard line, and they'll have to send out Alex Vega to attempt a 41-yard field goal. He's yet to miss on field goals this year, 5 for 5, but the long is from 36 yards out. This one has the distance, end over end, and it's good. In between the uprights it goes, Alex Vega knocks through three more points for the Mustangs at a 10-0 lead. Point that you need. There's the defensive play that you need. It didn't go their way, though. Alonso Gilliam on an inside run, lost the football. Mustangs may have it at the Aggie 32. Cal Poly celebrating. I don't know. Gilliam may have been down. They're going to say the they're going to say he was down. It, it looked like it from here, and we have a great advantage. But they have to make the call. What the call on the field is is where it has to stand. Now, call on the field is that Gilliam's knee hit the grass prior to that ball coming loose, and now whistles blow. They're going to send it up here. Of course, in the replay. replay. Yeah. I thought maybe he could have been down, but the ball might have been moving, as you said, as he was as he was um, stretching it out, and it looks like. Yeah, they've overturned the call, I do believe. And I think they've overturned the call, and I think, yeah, he, was, he wasn't down. Tough to hear the white hat, but he said something along the lines of that Gilliam lost the football. Yep. Mustangs recover the fumble. Kind of teetering on the brink of letting them back into the game, and there's no safety in the field. That's when you need J.J. Koski up the sideline and Jenkins just letting it go. Third and four. Jenkins finds Koski inside the 40. Out of bounds at the 38. Some catch for though. J.J. Koski in his 21st of the season. What, 14 seconds is what they said? Something along the lines of that. Okay. And a very disappointing afternoon in San Luis Obispo. I don't know if there's uh, any other way to set it up. And uh, Kyle Reed padding his stats a little bit. The back yeah. of quarterback with a nice run down the left sideline. Hey, as long as you're in the game, you might as well get your stats, man. I don't, you know, I don't care what the score is. If you give me the ball and the sideline breaks open. And we want to thank Greg coming up here from Southern California. Yes. Uh, wanted to be a part of this battle for the Golden Horseshoe game.